Okay, so I took um, this cover off. Super simple. Um, this comes off very easily. I used an impact gun. Uh, they're stainless steel screws. So you've got, uh, and how you can tell is this is my magnet and they're not sticking. <laughs> so, uh, also they're not rusty. But anyways, you get all these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws out. This comes right off. Uh, it's got a little O-ring kind of deal around it here. So it's it probably should get replaced maybe. Uh, at the very least, I'll put some silicone on that. Um, I have that dielectric grease kind of all around O-ring stuff that I'll use probably for that. But the bigger issue right here is I'm, um, I took out a real friend, uh, PB Blaster, and uh, this stuff, if you've never used it, is fantastic. And what I'm doing, I sprayed it down in, in the armature here. And the reason why I did is the pump itself, let me move this down here, oh boy, it's a little heavy. So this impeller, is it's got to unscrew from that. This actually, this cone comes out too. So I'll put this back over here like that. Um, just keep everything in order. So this has to unscrew in order for us to be able to pull this unit away in order for me to clean that up in there and check the bearing on the motor. And I've also got to replace that seal right in there. That's where the seal is. So uh, what I'm doing right now, I put the PB blaster in there, I'm letting it work its way in. I'm going to keep the motor up on its side here, um, on the pump side, so it runs down into that. So hopefully I can get that into the metal thread so I can get that unscrewed. So that's what I'm doing now, and I will keep you posted because it could take a while. Okay, guys, things got out of hand. <laughs> By that, I mean that um, I could not get this impeller freed up from here. It was just it was just on there too tight. You can see the PB blaster. Um, it just screws on clockwise fashion, just like a regular screw, regular threads. They're not reverse threads, but just all the corrosion that's on there from over the years. Uh, I mean, good golly. I'm fortunate the bearings feel good in that. So what I did was, uh, motors are super simple. I mean, as long as you don't start pulling wires off, okay? This has four long bolts that go through the back of it, okay? These run right through the whole motor. And this, this long bolt connects to that, okay? So if you wanna take a motor apart, you just take these four screws out. Boom, 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 boom. And then I just used my little hard rubber mallet and a screwdriver. And when this thing fits in there, it kinda of has a little lip on it. So I just put the screwdriver in on the lip and I just tapped it a couple times. Boom, boom. That, that popped right out. So as soon as that popped out, I went and I did the same thing with the front. I just put the screwdriver under that lip. Not hard, not like you're swinging for the fence or trying to get a, a free teddy bear at the circus or anything. I just popped it and as soon as that slipped out, this thing just slides right out. Okay, there's no wires, there's nothing holding it. And the benefit of that is you can check the bearing in the back when you get it out and you can check the bearing in the front. There is no other way to do that unless you take the armature out, okay? So anyways, I am going to clean this up on the wire wheel. Uh, the reason why I took it out is I was able to hold that and I actually put a pair of channel locks on this, but I think, I have to check, but I think that's all one piece and clearly that is a piece of garbage. And I need the new seal as well. So that uh, that's what was causing our leak and uh, everything else is just collateral damage, but I mean, um, that that's the inner part of the seal right there. Does it look like it did a great job? Uh, yeah, right? So anyways, I don't even know what that chemical is. It's chlorine, chlorine and borax and whatever else. I don't know. But uh, where I'm at now, I'm going to take that on the wire wheel. I, I also wanted to show you, I cleaned that up on the wire wheel. I just took it over my bench grinder and polished it up. It's stainless steel. It cleaned right up nice. Uh, there's no pitting. There's no holes. So when I get the heater element in, I'll be good there. So big project now is clean this up on the wheel, do a little uh, research on that. I already have the seal uh, ordered for that, so that's no big deal um, for that and that, those two. But again, I don't know about this part about that, so I'm not sure what it's supposed to look like, but I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to look like that. So that's uh, project number one is figure that out and then clean that up. All right, well, good news. 
um, I was able to uh, wire wheel off the the uh, armature here, but man, it's pitted really bad, but that shouldn't affect anything. Um, I mean, I think we're okay. I think the seal, um, you know, that'll screw in there. The seal will go around that part. It'll go actually go around here. So I think we're okay. I don't think the um, the armature is going to be on the inside, so I don't think that that any any part of this is going to affect this leaking. So, uh, but yeah, horrible amount of rust on there. I don't know if you can see that, but um, anyways, I, I cleaned everything off. The bearing is good. Uh, feels real good. Back bearing feels real good. And uh, even the little rubber cone washer that covers that uh, looks good. So I'm going to put this back. I'm going to put the motor all back. And then uh, we can go ahead and uh, clean this up, punch that out. I'm just going to take a socket and uh, knock that out. Uh, it just comes right out from the this side. It'll just knock right out. And then I'll clean that all up. Gosh, I might even put it in the dishwasher. Well, not with dishes, but you know, you know what I mean. Um, anyways, and I'll check on that. I still haven't checked on that yet, but I was a little optimistic about this. So I'll, I'll put this back and then I'm going to, you know, put the motor back together and then uh, we'll go from there. Well, she's all back and running now. Sounds good. Um, like I said, the, um, not a bad idea to make a mark so you know where that goes. Also note the position of the cord because you can twist this end cap in such a fashion that you're stretching the wires and they rub on the armature. Guess how I know? Yep. I put it back on the wrong way. I put this over at the nine o'clock position instead of up here at, at high noon. And uh, the wires coming from the start capacitor, um, they were kind of bound up against the bearing in there, made a terrible noise, and the case got really hot. It is not hot now. So, you know, when I look at it now, it's, I mean, it's warm. But it was like 190 degrees last night. So, yeah. Anyways, everything went back well here. Um, I tightened everything up with a strap wrench. Uh, I had a little bit of water leaking from here, a part that I never even messed with before. That goes to the ozone thing. And I just put a couple of pinch clamps on there, PEX clamps. Um, but yeah, everything else is good. Like I say, motor plug right back in. Um, I double checked to make sure that was tight. Valve is off and uh, no leaks at any of my other spots. So I think we're good. So anyways, uh, if you have any questions, uh, shoot me a, a, a message and I'll answer as best I can being a non-expert. And also, um, if you like what you saw, subscribe. I'm just a regular guy working on the patio.